We haven't mentioned Sarah Palin once this week, uh, but that will now come to an end as she had this to say today. Especially within hours of a tragedy unfolding, journalists and pundits should not manufacture a blood libel that serves only to incite the very hatred and violence that they purport to condemn. That is reprehensible. Well, now I personally do not believe Ms. Palin is serious about the serious problems in this country. Uh, I have yet to see her identify or use her incredible power to help resolve any of the serious problems in this country. Uh, but let's mix it up with our panelists. We welcome Jane Hampshire of Fire Dog Lake uh, and MSNBC contributor from Slate, uh, Dave Weigel. Uh, Dave, it, it, the thing that most struck me about the, the Palin comments uh, was on the one hand, uh, the assertion that her words don't matter, that her words were of no relevance, but in the same breath that the words of others uh, amounted to a, a blood libel. Uh, how is it that one person's words are meaningless, but everybody else's words are, are, are blood libel? Uh, I think you just spelled out the inconsistency there. Uh, I, I'm glad that you uh, you opened with the, the monologue that you did about how little this should matter in the long run. It's disappointing, short run even, how much this should matter at all. It's really disappointing that her response, after a pretty good lead time, several days to think about this, was to get into a debate that had kind of been dying. I mean, the debate over Palin was one that we were having on Saturday, if we were having it at all, because we didn't know what Loeffner's motives, motives were. Once we knew what his motives were, I, it exhibits some very thin skin and, and lack of attention to what, what actually matters here to go back and relitigate what happened. It's, it's really ugly and unfortunate, I guess, that people did this to her, but who cares? Yeah. It, that, <laughs> no, that, that's it. Uh, going back to my, my intro, Jane, uh, this is a country with some serious problems, uh, and, and there seems to be an absence of serious debate as to how to address those serious problems, whether it's the unfairness as referenced in the relationship between industry and government, uh, whether it's the seriousness of the mental health issues uh, that remain unaddressed. Uh, and, and it seems that whether it's the, uh, those who have the power, what, not just Sarah Palin, but the, uh, so many in the pundit and some in the political class even, uh, seem to choose this uh, finger pointing, spitballing nonsense, uh, if, if only as a way to avoid having to deal with the serious issues at hand. Well, I do think that you bring up an important point, Dylan, and that is that, you know, you can't say that Sarah Palin is responsible for this. And the guy was not a politically motivated guy. It was not, it did not seem like, at least from what we know, to be a political action. So, you know, accusing Sarah Palin of responsibility actually takes the, the blame from the question from where it needs to be, and that is, did she act responsibly in the situation? You, last year, we had Gabby Giffords, uh, Tom Perriello, and about 10 Democratic legislators had had their offices attacked. Periello had had the gas line on his brother's house cut in the wake of the health care bill passing. And at a time when John Boehner and others were actually saying, look, we need to calm this down. This violence is not okay. That's when Sarah Palin put up this image. And it's a fair question to ask if it was a responsible thing for her to do if she wants to run for president of the United States. That's not an unrealistic question. And it does not mean that people are necessarily blaming her, although some are in the situation. She should be prepared to answer that question, as David Frum said. Yeah. And the fact that she's out there and she's saying, look, I'm comparing my suffering here to the 2,000 years of persecution of the Jews, which is what she's referring to, because that's all blood libel means. That's it. That's the only meaning that it has, is, is the underpinnings of the argument that was used to persecute the Jews for 2,000 years. Yeah. Shows so much solipsism and narcissism and self-centeredness and unfitness for leadership that she can't even answer a reasonable question and yeah. has to make it all about her. Which is why, again, I, I quite honestly try to avoid the subject on this program as much as possible. I had mixed feelings about letting us go into it on, on the third day, and quite honestly, if there hadn't been the statement, uh, I wouldn't. And the reason uh, that I don't is because I don't think she's serious. I don't think she should be taken seriously. I don't believe she's a serious individual. Uh, I believe she's powerful. Uh, I believe she has uh, a, a large following, uh, and I believe her failure to engage that following to address any of the serious issues that this country faces is, uh, again, evidence of the lack of seriousness.